Hello, I'm Kylie Pantelo. Now the main stories in London. A leading mental health charity has voiced its concern over the decision by the Metropolitan Police to stop attending mental health emergency call-outs. The Met says an exception will only apply when there's an immediate risk to life. But the charity Mind says the decision may result in people losing their lives. Anila Dami reports. Around one in four people in London experience a diagnosable mental health condition. The Met Police says it's seen a significant rise in calls to deal with mental health incidents over the past five years. Between 500 to 600 times a month, officers are waiting on average 10 hours to hand over patients when they're sectioned. Now, in a new stringent measure being introduced in September, the Met says they'll only attend mental health 999 calls where there is an immediate threat to life to free up officer resources and, they say, to get people the right help. But it comes with a stark warning from charities. My worst fears are that people will uh, lose their lives. Uh, I think that people who are in mental health crisis are often experiencing suicidal thoughts, are often in the middle of uh, active self-harm. And so it does demand police paramedic intervention uh, urgently. And so without that, and, I, and whilst I know that uh, the police are not going to withdraw their help if there is threat to life, it will always be very difficult to know that. Former Superintendent Leroy Logan says the Met needs a structured approach. The training is not as in-depth as it should be. That There should be a public health approach. That is, you have a triage of officers together with approved social workers and psychologists who are able to assess that person with a Met Police officer or any other officer across the country in attendance. In a statement, the Metropolitan Police say work is already underway in London to develop a concordat across health provisions, which they welcome, but they say there's an urgent need to address the imbalance of responsibility where police officers are left delivering health provisions. They say health services must take primacy for caring for the mentally ill, allowing officers to focus on their core responsibilities to prevent and detect crime and keep communities safe and support victims. Humberside Police has already introduced this approach, but did so over a period of two years. The government has announced a £150 million investment into mental health services, but whether it's all enough and the partnerships implemented quickly enough is a question that could be answered too late when lives are potentially at risk. Anila Dami, ITV News. Police investigating a fatal stabbing in Croydon have made a second arrest. 22-year-old Lucas Sutton was found with fatal injuries on Pawson's Road last Tuesday. A 19-year-old man is being held on suspicion of his murder. Another teenager, a 16-year-old, was previously charged with murder. He'll appear at the Old Bailey later this week. Mauricio Pochettino has been appointed the new Chelsea manager. The former Tottenham coach will take over from Frank Lampard, who oversaw his final game in charge against Newcastle yesterday. It brings to an end an almost two-month process to find a permanent successor to Graham Potter, who was sacked last month. And Tottenham is welcoming a very special musical guest this evening. Beyonce is kicking off the London leg of her Renaissance World Tour at Tottenham Stadium. And it is, of course, completely sold out. Laura Allen has more. Beyonce's World Tour has undeniably hit the UK with a bang. And now the spotlight's turning to Tottenham as the pop superstar performs five shows here on her Renaissance World Tour. More than a million fans tried to get tickets for the concert, prompting additional shows to be added to the run. The doors opened just over an hour ago, but that didn't stop fans from arriving as early as five o'clock this morning to ensure they could see their hero in prime position. With Beyonce, it's, it's craziness. Yeah, we want to be like as close to the front and as close as possible. I got here at 7.30 just because I know that there's like early admission as well. I wanted to be right up in front. I've been wanting to see her for so long. Understandable that those buying tickets were excited, but it's also brought a boost to local business. We've got a lot of fish prepared. Um, so usually on a normal match, we'll get about 200 people in. So we're kind of preparing for that. Hopefully we get more. Normally it's about two of us or three of us working in the daytime. Today it's going to be eight of us. Those crazy in love with Beyonce have three more dates to make the most of her being here in the UK before she heads off to Amsterdam, Poland and North America. Laura Allen, ITV News.
sure those lucky ones who got tickets will enjoy it. OK, it's been another good day out there, hasn't it? Let's see what the weather has in store for us now with the details. Here's Jay. ITV London weekday weather is sponsored by Octopus Electric Vehicles. Car, charger and energy. Hello again. I hope you've had a lovely bank holiday weekend, whatever you've been up to. We've seen cloud building a little across the capital and parts of the southeast today. And overnight tonight, it'll be breezy and certainly free from frost. This week, we're staying dry. High pressure is in charge. There will be some pleasant sunshine to look forward to. And in general, temperatures will be warming up across the whole of the country as we go through the week. There's the high pressure and there's really little rain in the forecast for the next 10 days. Lots of sunshine to look forward to from Wednesday onwards. But before that, for Southern and eastern parts of the country, perhaps a little cloudy and breezy as well. It does mean tonight we're free from frost. There could be a few mist patches here and there, but probably eight or nine degrees the overnight low. Quite a breeze across the southeast of England and around London as we go through the night tonight. Into tomorrow and Tuesday we'll start on a dry note, perhaps a little cloudy where you are, with that breeze continuing to freshen things up. We will see some brightness getting out through the morning and some sunshine during the afternoon, which will feel pleasant out of the breeze. But temperatures again, no great shakes for the time of year, perhaps reaching 19 or 20 Celsius tomorrow afternoon. It will improve temperature wise day on day as we go through this week and it stays dry. ITV London weekday weather is sponsored by Octopus Electric Vehicles. Hello, Summer. Piri sponsors ITV Pollen Count. The grass pollen season is accelerating now, so that means some rather bad news for hay fever sufferers. If you're prone to the effects of grass pollen, levels through this week will be high across the board. Bye-bye for now. Well, that's all from us for now. We'll be back tomorrow with updates. And good morning, Britain. Until then, whatever you're doing, enjoy your evening. Bye for now.